Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So let's start our video. In this video, we are going to uh, understand about what this example says. Um, this example will teach will tell us about how to use regular fallacy method to find root equation root of equation. Okay, so in this example, uh, we are asked to find root of equation uh, from um, third power uh, equation. Okay, so as you can see, uh, there is uh, x to the power of 3. So uh, this indicates that this equation is third power equation. Yeah. Okay, so we start. Okay, so this is the error. So we have to take note of this. Okay, so let's start. Uh, how to solve this uh, problem? The first one that we have to uh, to, to decide uh, our x n. So in this case, the the author of this book uh, chose x n equals to one, and then uh, he put the value of x n into the f x. Yeah. Okay. So we have fx so all the x must be uh, changed into xn and the value of xn itself is 1 yeah okay so f1 equals to 1 to the power of 3 plus 1 to the power of 2 and then minus 3 times 1 so this is x must be replaced with 1 minus 3 and this will be 1 plus 1 minus 3 minus 3 so this is 2 and this is minus 6 so 2 minus 6 will be minus 4 yeah, so this result is correct so we have minus 4 uh, for the value of fxn okay next also we have to decide a uh, random random value of xn plus 1 so in this case we choose 2 yeah so we put all two into all of uh, we put all x n plus one with two yeah okay so f two so two to the power of three plus two to the power of two minus three time two minus three so in this uh, the result will be 3 yeah okay and then we have to calculate the value of fxn with fxn plus 1 yeah our value of fxn is okay so this is the fxn and then this is the fxn plus 1 so the value of fxn is 4 minus 4 i mean minus 4 and then times fxn plus 1 yeah the value is 3 so we got minus 12 so minus 12 is less than 0 yeah so we can continue to the next step yeah, if you take a look on this uh, flowchart if uh, if our condition uh, complete this situation then we can go to the next step yeah and the condition is, is uh, the condition says that we have to find uh, the value less than zero yeah, 
and our calculation is also less than zero so we can go to uh, step number four yeah so this is step number four this is the step number three and then this is step number two oh this is step yeah this is step number two and then this is step number one okay okay so we go to step number four uh, finding the value of xt okay okay so okay i will Wait a moment. Yeah, sorry. So I just post the video to uh, to put this into this page. Yeah. So number four, we are going to use this formula to find the value of x t. Okay. So I will save our page. Yeah. So I will put this so we can uh, get easier look on this. Okay, so let's start input our data. So this is the uh, xt, and then the value of xn is one. Yeah, if, if you take a look on this, so the value of xn is one. Okay, so it must be one here. then minus fxn okay so which one is our fxn yeah, so this is the value of our fxn the value is minus 4 so minus 4 and then times okay xn plus 1 okay so which one is our xn plus 1 so okay so this is our xn plus 1 we have two here we have two and then minus minus x n okay so this is the value of our x n one yeah so this x n is one so this x n is also one yeah okay one and then we have to find the value of f s uh, f x n plus one uh, f x n plus one so where is r uh, this is f x n plus one equal to three yeah equal to three and then minus f x n um, f x n is minus four minus four so we can 1 minus 4 it must be 1 plus 4 okay so i will put a big bracket here because uh, this and this yeah, must be multiplied yeah so i put a big bracket here so we can get easier when we have to operate these numbers okay minus uh, i mean big bracket 2 minus 1 so it must be minus 1 and then 3 minus minus 4 so the minus will be plus so 3 plus 4 is 7 yeah so 1 1 plus 4 uh, okay so I think we have to use a calculator here So one minus minus four, one minus minus four, two minus one, so two minus one, and three minus minus four, three minus minus four, and okay, let's uh, follow this uh, result. So we get one point five. Seven one four two. Okay, so this is for the first value of xt. Yeah. 
Okay, so we go to the next step. Yeah, we have f x t. Yeah, so um, the value of x t yeah, will be inputted into this variable. So one point five blah 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 uh, to the power of three plus one point five blah 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 to the power of two minus three times one point five seven and cetera and then minus three and we got uh, value of fxt or uh, minus one three uh, minus one point three six four four yeah and then we compare yeah we compare which uh, the, the, the absolute value of xt uh, the absolute value of fxt yeah. so we put uh, the absolute value of fxt and if we compare okay, so absolute yeah. so we, we we remove the minus sign so we get 1.3644 and this value is uh, more than uh, zero yeah so um, we have to uh, it's because the value of this uh, multiplication uh, I mean the value of fxt yeah is more than uh, I mean more than zero okay, so we have to uh, re uh, calculate yeah, recalculate uh, to find the another xt value so when the xt value is input into fxt then the value will be less than zero not more than zero yeah okay but you have to take a note that we have to put absolute value yeah in this case yeah the value of fxt is minus 1.3 but when we have when we put absolute uh, absolute value then the negative sign will be removed and the value will be positive and it's still more than zero so we have to do another calculation another uh, we have to another iteration yeah, to find the appropriate xt yeah okay then um, we uh, multiplied the value of fxn and fxt so the value of fxn Okay, the value of fxn is minus 4 yeah. so we put minus 4 here times yeah, fxt yeah. so this is the value of our fxt and the uh, minus times minus yeah. negative times negative so we get positive yeah. so uh, this calculation or this multiplication result positive value so we have to find uh, the new xn and fxn if you take a look at this so because the, the the value of this multiplication is positive so we go to this here yeah, because if negative so we go to this point but in this case it is uh, positive so we go to this point so the xn uh, the, the, the next xn will be xt so fxn will be fxt with the new xt yeah okay, okay so our xn yeah will be xt yeah? this is the new xn okay so this is new New xn, yeah. So new xn will be the same with xt, yeah. Which is uh, our xt is one minus uh, one point seven five uh, five seven one four two. So we put 
this number into our new xn yeah so the fxn will be the same with fxt yeah because we change the value of xn with xt yeah so fxt uh, is this fxt is minus 1.3644 so we put here and then the xn plus 1 it's still the same so this is the xn plus 1 and the fxn plus 1 will be 3 yeah so we put here okay and then we go to uh, find the 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 new xt yeah. so this is new xt using uh, this formula yeah and you will get 1.7054 yeah and then we put uh, the value of new xt into the f xt and you get uh, minus 0 uh, 0.2 yeah and if we as usual if we put absolute mark here yeah, so we get zero we, we, we remove the minus yeah, so we get 0 0.2478 and it's still uh, more than e error yeah because our error must be uh, 0 0.0001 and uh, our iteration will uh, stop until the absolute value of our fxt yeah, is less than this number yeah okay so it's it still uh, take a process to until find the last uh, the last xt yeah which is uh, result in very uh, very very low number of a uh, very low value of error yeah so this is the uh, the value of xt yeah okay so i hope you can understand uh, using this video uh, if you have any question you can just put your question on uh, comment below yeah comment box below or you can just uh, text me uh, using your whatsapp or, or, or anything yeah okay so this is for the video of using a uh, regular fallacy method to find root of equation and after this we are going to continue uh, our explanation on method uh, method newton method yeah okay thank you for your uh, attention